here on the Ed Swanson Coaches Show. We're here with head coach Ed Swanson. as a women's basketball team. Played two games last week in split, going 1-1. They beat St. Peter's on opening night, 65-48. Unfortunately, fell to St. Joseph's here at home last night. And, Coach, let's talk about the St. Peter's game first. The team really rallied in the second half. They outscored the Peahens 43-19 in the second half after kind of struggling op opening shooting in the first half. Talk about really how they responded, half responded at halftime. Yeah, let's start with the good stuff. Um, yeah, you know, I, I thought the first half, uh, you know, opening night, uh, sometimes uh, the unexpected happens. And, you know, I thought we were a little jittery, a little nervous, uh, you know, on uh, on the offensive side, which uh, caused us to have 15 turnovers. I was happy to see your team relax, settle down, and um, got after things, uh, not only defensively, but offensively settled down a little bit and, uh, um, you know, picked up a good win against a good St. Peter's team. Well, sticking with, with some more of the good stuff, uh, in that game, Kylie Evans had 17 points, 11 rebounds, her second career double-double, and took home the first Choice Hotels Northeast Conference Player of the Week award. Talk about really what a great game she had, and she did play, I thought, pretty well last night as well. Yeah, you know, Kylie's starting to emerge as one of the better players, I think, in the Northeast Conference. I, I thought she, uh, last year, was kind of a blender and blended in pretty good with, uh, you know, Elisa Apo and Callan Taylor, and I... You know, I think uh, um, better things are to come uh, for Kylie Evans. So it was nice to see her get recognized for a lot of hard work, I think, over the summer. And, uh, um, you know, she put on a good performance. And, yeah, last night uh, um, I thought she uh, thought she played solid. Okay, now moving towards last night, maybe some more of the negative stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you guys, I really thought the difference in that game was you struggled from, from three-point range through shooting about 15%. Was it more just an off night or is there something d defensively, excuse me, that um, – that St. Jo St. Joseph's did do, or what? Why did the offense struggle last night? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, we we watched film as a coaching staff, uh, you know, earlier this morning, and uh, um, we're going to watch film with the team probably in about 20 minutes. Uh, you know, I you know I thought Lisa Apo, I thought Maggie Cosgrove, uh, Kylie Evans, uh, you know, Mo Riley, um, they all got shots they can make, you know, and and, and we can't deviate. And uh, um, I mean, shooters are are what we are, and. Uh, um, you know, we miss some open looks, and you know, I think sometimes when you miss open looks, uh, unfortunately, sometimes that affect, affects your defense. And uh, um, we got to go inside a little bit more. Um, you know, I thought Callan Taylor and Morgan Merriman had terrific games, and uh, you know, that's something. There's more than one way to skin a cat. You're not hitting from the outside. We got to look to get easy baskets, and uh, um, you know. It, it's still early in the season, and, uh, you know, these, these sort of games are expected, and you're trying to work out kinks. But take nothing away from St. Joe's. I thought uh, they're a real, real quality Atlantic 10 team, and uh, they did a heck of a job defensively. And, uh, um, you know, we've got to match that intensity defensively as well. And sticking with more of the positives, you um, mentioned – Morgan Merriman, she in the last two games has played 30 minutes off the bench. She actually had a career high 12 points last night. Talk about her play. I thought she's played really well coming off the bench for you. Well, uh, you know, Morgan's obviously put a lot of work in over the over the summer, and uh, um, she's had a terrific preseason. And I'm just happy. Some, you know, I'm just happy to see that the the preseason, you know, has translated into the into the regular season. Um, you know, I thought the bench did terrific last night. Morgan off the bench. I thought Alexis Campbell gave us a terrific lift. Uh, Erica Norman. Uh, um, you know, played solid off the bench, and I, I think we're still expecting to see, you know, uh, uh, more and better things from her, and Blair Konachowski came in and, uh, um, you know, hit a big three, and uh, we're trying to work her more and more into the lineup. And just kind of give us your overall overall assessment two games into the season, and you guys have Hartford coming up on Monday. We won't talk to you in, until then. Mm -hmm. Talk about that game and really your team's mindset going into it. Well, you know, uh, we got to keep our nose to the grindstone, and, uh, you know, we uh, – we did some nice things, and we can't lose track, uh, you know, of, of, of the positive things, uh, the contributions that some players made on uh, on Tuesday night. And yeah, we're our schedule is not uh, not an easy one. You know, we got the University of Hartford at Hartford, and uh, um, that's going to be a tough battle. And uh, um, you know, they're well coached. They've uh, you know advanced the NCAA tournament the last couple of years. We're one of the top teams in the American East Conference. So. You know, we're going to have our hands full, but we got to, you know, get back to work today. We're going to rest a little bit, watch a little film lift, and, uh, you know, get back on the court tomorrow. All right. Good luck this weekend. Thank you for the time. Head coach Ed Swanson, Pioneers went 1-1 their opening weekend. They have Hartford Monday night at the University of Hartford. The game will be broadcast live on the Connecticut Sports Network.